As I sit in my window, I picture my life changing from girlhood to womanhood. First, I see a little girl who's scared to try anything new, but she needed to lead the way for others who will come after her. Next, I see her as a teenager. She is shy, and friends that were her age were falling scarcer. However, she finds friends in her aides, her teachers and staff, and boy, do they have fun. Now I see a young lady of the age of 17 who has big dreams for the future. Does she want to be a writer, a painter, an actress? The only thing she knows is that she wants to make her mark on the world somehow. Finally, I see a woman who is proud of the person who she has become. A woman who led the way for those who will follow. Sarah is powerful. She is smart, she is funny, and there's pretty much nothing she can't do. Sarah and Caitlin attended high school together and spent two years in National Honor Society. And we were all just dying bored. And we think we're about done, we're all excited, and then. They go, oh, by the way, here's another page of stuff we have to do. And Sarah just goes, ugh. And Amanda and I are sitting there dying laughing, like tears rolling down our cheeks, hoping that people don't hear us because we're laughing so hard. And I just turn to Sarah and I go, Sarah, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> While in high school, Sarah did very well in academics, but she also thrived in the athletic arena as well. She loves sports especially wheelchair hockey and soccer. And her mom remembers one time when... She even tried sled, sled hockey in the sled where she had, somebody has to turn her around and she has to try to hit the puck. So, yeah, she's... Of, of the three, three children, she is the most prone to try any kind of athletics she could. And according to one of her athletic competitors, Sarah is a very competitive player. I have known Sarah for several years as a fellow athlete. Sarah is very competitive and a determined athlete. Sarah has worked hard and has achieved many awards. She is very social and likes communicating with people. When we go to Michigan State University to compete every May, everyone knows Sarah Polk. She is well-liked and is a great athlete and advocate for people with disabilities. Sarah's competitive nature has now spilled over into a different kind of competition, competing for what's right and what's just. She now teaches classes to direct care staff on how to work for people with disabilities. Every person who has a disability is different. The aim has to be made and has to have an understanding of what the individual's disability is. Sarah's parents have been great advocates and supporters and knew that whatever she wanted to achieve, she would. Congratulations to Sarah Pauk.